One of the time-related complications occurring in prosthetic restorations is the loss of hard and soft tissue volume under the pontic area. This may be an inconvenient situation in both visual and functional terms due to food impaction. One of the most practical solutions is to counter the pontic area with temporary or definitive prosthesis. It has been shown that placing the egg-shaped pontic on the mucosa with slight pressure prevented resorption owing to continuous stimuli on the soft tissue. Sitzman et al. has numerous research on this subject. This procedure can be completed with different techniques using removable or fixed restorations, surgical methods, or straightforward. Several applications will be shared in upcoming videos. Whatever technique is used, the result is highly aesthetic due to long-term hard and soft tissue stability as well as appearance as if a natural tooth is stemming from the soft tissue. The same morphology can be achieved with implant dentures as in dentures on natural abutments. The most applicable situations for the oval pontic technique are the existence of teeth or radixes with plant extraction. In such cases, the abutment teeth are prepared first before extraction. Impression is made and the dental technician carves the teeth on the digital model or conventional stone cast and forms an oval pontic design with a 2 mm depth. After this, the definitive or temporary restoration is fabricated. In the second appointment, the teeth are extracted and prosthesis is tried in and adjustments are made where necessary followed by temporary or definitive cementation of the restoration. At this stage, the emergence profile of the temporary restoration must be checked. After a four-week healing period, the patient is recalled, the prosthesis is removed and the aesthetic outcome together with the healing process is observed. In this six-month delayed case owing to patient-related factors, it can be easily observed that the papillae is height is gained, especially in between the pontic and the abutment teeth, instead of soft tissue loss. The soft tissue has also preserved its position horizontally and the aesthetic emergence profile has been achieved. If everything has occurred as desired, the prosthetic restoration can be cemented definitively. The most important point after this is the ultimate care of the patient, especially in the pontic area, with appropriate cleaning tools. Having said that, the patient should be recalled in six-month periods to control whether the ideal hygiene is maintained or not.